Math Lesson 111. Mixed Numbers. I've got a 17, so I'll throw it in the blender. Here's a number 2, I'm gonna throw it in the blender. 711, gonna throw it in the blender. And I turn the blender on to make mixed n What? What do you mean? Well, then how do I make a mixed number if I don't put it in the blender? Gah. Well, hello again. So, since I cannot put my mixed numbers in the blender, why don't we see what this is all about? A mixed number is when you have a whole number and a fraction together. It's like they're mixed up, but not really. So, if you look at the paper that is in your packet, right here it will say, this box is where we write the number. And right above the box it says that the hexagon, the six-sided shape, equals one. So we know right here, oh, we have one hexagon. That's one. And then next to the hexagon, how much do we have? If you use your pattern blocks, that's one half. So what you have there is the hexagon is one, and then you can see that the red shape goes over it and covers about half of it. Therefore, that mixed number is, I bet you're shouting it out while I try and open my marker one-handed. Ah! I used my teeth. That's what that sound one was. This mixed number is one and a half. So I'm going to write just the number one, and then next to it, one over two. One and a half. Now let's look down at the next one. We have one, two of the orange shapes. Not orange, yellow. We have two yellow, which equals two. And then how many we have this one triangle, but I can't just say two and one triangle. So how many triangles fit inside the hexagon? If you sort of flip it around like this, you should realize that you can fit six of the triangles inside one hexagon, which means that one triangle equals one sixth right there. And then for the last one, we have one hexagon, one, and then these blue shapes. How many of the blue shapes fit in there? Three. How many blue shapes are over here two so that is two thirds that is two out of three so we would say two thirds now at the bottom it says trace pattern blocks to show these mixed numbers one and one third we already know that the hexagon equals one and that one of these blue shapes is a third. So that's what you need to trace. Then it says show two and three sixth on the back of this paper. So you need to do one, two, and then you would need to use the triangles because each one of those is one sixth, two sixth, three sixth. All right, I wanted to give you one quick hint on this practice worksheet. Number three, measure each side of the rectangle in problem two using centimeters. Find the perimeter. The perimeter is how long the outside of the shape is. So you would need to measure this side, this side, this side, and this side, and add those four numbers together. 
Other than that, I think you'll be good to go. Happy mathing!